A growing number of defendants in the U.S. Capitol insurrection are seeking their release from the D.C. jail. In a series of new court filings, they argue the jail isn't safe for them and they make formal complaints about the conditions in there. Perhaps the highest profile defendant tells our Scott McFarlane they don't expect sympathy from the public, but they still want mercy from the court. Richard Barnett is one of dozens of January 6 defendants who were ordered detained in jail pre-trial, most of them right here at the D.C. jail. But Barnett got himself released a few weeks ago and says he wanted to speak to us about what life was like inside for the January 6 defendants. There are so many powerful images from January 6, but this one stands out. Richard Bigo Barnett of Arkansas with his feet on a desk in House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office suite. For three months, Barnett was held in jail, awaiting hearings, and we've learned while inside, he was still getting in trouble, frequently placed in solitary confinement, he says. I was being punished for speaking up, yes. And, and, and even when I even spoke up and showed them the rules in the book, that made it even worse. Barnett joins a growing number of defendants who in recent weeks issued formal or informal complaints about D.C.'s aging jail, which has frequently suffered heating, air, and water problems. I I'm innocent until proven guilty. And, but what's happened with this particular pretrial detention, they have turned it into a punishment. Other defendants have argued they can't get access to proper medical care inside. And another, Dominic Pozzola of New York, who's accused of breaking open a Capitol window with a stolen police riot shield, says there's no privacy, a lack of personal hygiene, and 23-hour-a-day lockdowns inside due to COVID. We pressed Barnett to talk about his case. He declined because he says he's still facing a possible trial. Then we asked why he thinks others would care about his jail complaints. You can love me, you can hate me. You can love me and hate what I did. You could, you could not like anything about me. But you have to put that aside because this isn't about me. This is about our federal prison system in America. Barnett confirmed what some defense lawyers have already told us. The January 6th defendants are all housed together in a separate unit at the jail, separate from all other defendants inside. He says they sing the national anthem together each morning or each evening, and they've even started their own jail newsletter. And we would all contribute to it and we'd get passed from cell to cell. Like in any prison, you know, things get passed. The D.C. jail and U.S. Justice Department declined our request for comment, but former D.C. federal prosecutor Glenn Kirshner says it's wise of the jail to keep these defendants separate from the others. They are laboring under, a, you know, really tight resources, and they always have been. And I think the DOC officials do the best they can. Barnett has pleaded not guilty in his case. We're still waiting for a trial date in this case. If convicted, he faces the prospect of an awful lot more time behind bars. Scott McFarland, News 4.